the word of your gospel cleanse and purify us from evil. A thought for today. We generally place great importance on people or on places when we look for healing. So we are generally told to go to Velangani, go to Lourdes, or to go to this particular person that he has the power to heal. Sometimes it is interesting to know whether it's the place or the person that brings about healing. Or is it our faith? With faith we go to these places of pilgrimage or to these people whom we believe are healers. But then the question that arises is, how many of us believe, really believe, that each one of us who are baptized in the name of Christ, each one of us who are blessed with the power of the Spirit, that it, within each one of us there is the power to heal. There is the power to touch, to pray, and to ask for healing. The question, or the, the, the point is, maybe when we pray or lay our hands over people for healing, the focus is on ourselves and not on God who heals. When we approach someone, or rather when we are asked to pray over someone, we do it with the confidence knowing it is not, we are not, uh, it is not our power, but it is the power of God that reaches down and touches the person. And all that we do is be a channel for God's grace to flow to the person whom we pray for. We Christians, yes, we believe and give such importance to places of pilgrimage, to people, particular people, but we never seem to realize or believe that deep that each one of us are invested with the Holy Spirit to pray over, to bring peace, to bring hope, to bring healing into the lives of people. Coming to the Gospel of today, we see that there is a hint of jealousy among the apostles. They could not stand the fact that someone outside their little group was calling upon the name of Jesus to bring about or to cast out demons. And they didn't like it. So they come to Jesus and complain. And they are shocked that Jesus tells them anyone, anyone, regardless of whether they belong to this small group or not, anyone who prays in my name will have the here, will have the, uh, will experience the joy of God's presence. Anyone who prays in my name. So it is not just us. Anyone who has the mustard seed of faith in Jesus and pray in his name are confident that they are heard by God and that through them the channel of God's love passes on. So my dear brothers and sisters, let us, let us use the power that God gives us. All that we can do is whenever we reach out our hand and pray over someone, let us say to God, first of all, aware of my own sinfulness, I still stand before you and surrender. Surrender into your hand so that you will make me a channel of peace, of hope, and of your presence in the life of the person I pray for. And we need... We need not doubt, only believe is what Jesus says. Secondly is, we must recognize that God uses and through us touches others. We get this beautifully brought out 
in the man who was let down from the roof. Whether he had faith or not, we don't know. It doesn't tell us much about the lame or the crippled man's faith. But what the gospel tells us, Jesus seeing the faith of the four people who let him down, he then says to the cripple, take up your bed and walk away. We also need to have that confidence and trust that through us, God will do wonderful things. And every time, every time we pray over someone or pray for someone, we are asking God, let your kingdom be proclaimed.